Psalm 31 To the chief musician, a psalm of David. In you, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in your righteousness. Bow down your ear to me. Deliver me speedily. Be you my strong rock for an house of defense to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress. Therefore, for your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Pull me out of the net that they have laid privily for me. For you are my strength. Into your hand I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord, God of truth. I have hated them that regard lying vanities, but I trust in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in your mercy, for you have considered my trouble. You have known my soul in adversities and have not shut me up into the hand of the enemy. You have set my feet in a large room. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. Mine eye is consumed with grief, yes, my soul and my belly, for my life is spent with grief and my years with sighing. My strength fails because of mine iniquity and my bones are consumed. I was a reproach among all mine enemies, but especially among my neighbors, and a fear to mine acquaintance. They that did see me without fled from me. I am forgotten as a dead man out of mind. I am like a broken vessel, for I have heard the slander of many. Fear was on every side, while they took counsel together against me. They devised to take away my life. But I trusted in you, O Lord. I said, You are my God. My times are in your hand. Deliver me from the hand of mine enemies and from them that persecute me. Make your face to shine upon your servant. Save me for your mercy's sake. Let me not be ashamed, O Lord. For I have called upon you. Let the wicked be ashamed, and let them be silent in the grave. Let the lying lips be put to silence, which speak grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. Oh, how great is your goodness, which you have laid up for them that fear you, which you have wrought for them that trust in you before the sons of men. You shall hide them in the secret of your presence from the pride of man. You shall keep them secretly in a pavilion from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he has showed me his marvelous kindness in a strong city. For I said in my haste, I am cut off from before your eyes. Nevertheless, you heard the voice of my supplications when I cried unto you. O love the Lord, all you his saints, for the Lord preserves the faithful and plentifully rewards the proud doer. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart, all you that hope in the Lord. Psalm 32 A Psalm of David, Moscow Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputes not iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guile. When I kept silence, my bones wax old through my roaring all the day long. For day and night your hand was heavy upon me. My moisture is turned into the drought of summer. Selah. I acknowledged my sin unto you, and mine iniquity have I not hid. I said, I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord, and you forgave the iniquity of my sin. Selah. For this shall every one that is godly pray unto you in a time when you may be found. 
Surely in the floods of great waters they shall not come near unto him. You are my hiding place. You shall preserve me from trouble. You shall compass me about with songs of deliverance. Sila. I will instruct you and teach you in the way which you shall go. I will guide you with mine eye. Be you not as the horse or as the mule which have no understanding, whose mouth must be held in with bit and bridle, lest they come near unto you. Many sorrows shall be to the wicked, but he that trusts in the Lord, mercy shall compass him about. Be glad in the Lord, and rejoice, you righteous, and shout for joy, all you that are upright in heart. Psalm 33 Rejoice in the Lord, O you righteous, for praise is comely for the upright. Praise the Lord with harp, sing unto him with the psaltery and an instrument of ten strings. Sing unto him a new song, play skillfully with a loud noise, for the word of the Lord is right, and all his works are done in truth. He loves righteousness and judgment, the earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. By the word of the Lord were the heavens made, and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth. He gathers the waters of the sea together as in heap. He lays up the depth in storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spake, and it was done. He commanded, and it stood fast. The Lord brings the counsel of the heathen to naught. He makes the devices of the people of none effect. The counsel of the Lord stands forever, the thoughts of his heart to all generations. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, and the people whom he has chosen for his own inheritance. The Lord looks from heaven, he beholds all the sons of men. From the place of his habitation he looks upon all the inhabitants of the earth. He fashions their hearts alike, he considers all their works. There is no king saved by the multitude of an host. A mighty man is not delivered by much strength. An horse is a vain thing for safety, neither shall he deliver any by his great strength. Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy, to deliver their soul from death, and to keep them alive in famine. Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. For our heart shall rejoice in him, because we have trusted in his holy name. Let your mercy, O Lord, be upon us, according as we hope in you. Psalm 34, a psalm of David, when he changed his behavior before Abimelech, who drove him away, and he departed. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. O magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him, and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps round about them that fear him, and delivers them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusts in him. O oh, fear the Lord, you his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Come, you children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is he that desires life, and loves many days, that he may see good? Keep your tongue from evil, and your lips from speaking guile. Depart from evil, and do good. Seek peace, and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry, and the Lord hears, and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near unto them that are of a broken heart, and saves such as be of a contrite spirit. 
Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. He keeps all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. The Lord redeems the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. Psalm 35, a Psalm of David. Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for mine help. Draw out also the spear and stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am your salvation. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devise my hurt. Let them be as chaff before the wind, and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery, and let the angel of the Lord persecute them. For without cause have they hid for me their net in a pit, which without cause they have digged for my soul. Let destruction come upon him at unawares, and let his net that he has hid catch himself. Into that very destruction let him fall. And my soul shall be joyful in the Lord. It shall rejoice in his salvation. All my bones shall say, Lord, who is like unto you, which delivers the poor from him that is too strong for him? Yes, the poor and the needy from him that spoils him. False witnesses did rise up. They laid to my charge things that I knew not. They rewarded me evil for good to the spoiling of my soul. But as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth. I humbled my soul with fasting, and my prayer returned into mine own bosom. I behaved myself as though he had been my friend or brother. I bowed down heavily as one that mourns for his mother. But in mine adversity they rejoiced and gathered themselves together. Yes, the abjects gathered themselves together against me, and I knew it not. They did tear me and ceased not. With hypocritical mockers in feasts, they gnashed upon me with their teeth. Lord, how long will you look on? Rescue my soul from their destructions, my darling from the lions. I will give you thanks in the great congregation. I will praise you among much people. Let not them that are mine enemies wrongfully rejoice over me. Neither let them wink with the eye that hate me without a cause. For they speak not peace, but they devise deceitful matters against them that are quiet in the land. Yes, they opened their mouth wide against me and said, Aha! Aha! Our eye has seen it. This you have seen, O Lord. Keep not silence, O Lord. Be not far from me. Stir up yourself and awake to my judgment, even unto my cause, my God and my Lord. Judge me, O Lord, my God, according to your righteousness, and let them not rejoice over me. Let them not say in their hearts, Ah, so would we have it. Let them not say, We have swallowed him up. Let them be ashamed and brought to confusion together that rejoice at mine hurt. Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor that magnify themselves against me. Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. Yes, let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified, which has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. And my tongue shall speak of your righteousness and of your praise all the day long. Psalm 36 to the chief musician, a psalm of David, the servant of the Lord. The transgression of the wicked says within my heart that there is no fear of God before his eyes, for he flatters himself in his own eyes until his iniquity be found to be hateful. The words of his mouth are iniquity and deceit. He has left off to be wise and to do good. He devises mischief upon his bed. He sets himself in a way that is not good. 
he abhors not evil. Your mercy, O Lord, is in the heavens, and your faithfulness reaches unto the clouds. Your righteousness is like the great mountains, your judgments are a great deep. O Lord, you preserve man and beast. How excellent is your loving kindness, O God! Therefore the children of men put their trust under the shadow of your wings. They shall be abundantly satisfied with the fatness of your house, and you shall make them drink of the river of your pleasures. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light shall we see light. O continue your loving kindness unto them that know you, and your righteousness to the upright in heart. Let not the foot of pride come against me, and let not the hand of the wicked remove me. There are the workers of iniquity fallen. They are cast down and shall not be able to rise. Psalm 37, a Psalm of David. Fret not yourself because of evil doers, neither be you envious against the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good, so shall you dwell in the land, and verily you shall be fed. Delight yourself also in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass, and he shall bring forth your righteousness as the light, and your judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not yourself because of him who prospers in his way, because of the man who brings wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not yourself in any wise to do evil. For evildoers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yes, you shall diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. The wicked plots against the just, and gnashes upon him with his teeth. The Lord shall laugh at him, for he sees that his day is coming. The wicked have drawn out the sword, and have bent their bow, to cast down the poor and needy, and to slay such as be of upright conversation. Their sword shall enter into their own heart, and their bows shall be broken. A little that a righteous man has is better than the riches of many wicked. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholds the righteous. The Lord knows the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time, and in the days of famine they shall be satisfied. But the wicked shall perish, and the enemies of the Lord shall be as the fat of lambs. They shall consume, into smoke shall they consume away. The wicked borrows and pays not again, but the righteous shows mercy and gives. For such as be blessed of him shall inherit the earth and they that be cursed of him shall be cut off. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delights in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholds him with his hand. I have been young, and now am old. Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. He is ever merciful and lends and his seed is blessed. Depart from evil, and do good, and dwell forevermore. For the Lord loves judgment, and forsakes not his saints. They are preserved forever, but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. The righteous shall inherit the land, and dwell therein forever. The mouth of the righteous speaks wisdom, and his tongue talks of judgment. The law of his God is in his heart, 
none of his steps shall slide. The wicked watches the righteous and seeks to slay him. The Lord will not leave him in his hand, nor condemn him when he is judged. Wait on the Lord and keep his way, and he shall exalt you to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, you shall see it. I have seen the wicked in great power and spreading himself like a green bay tree. Yet he passed away, and lo, he was not. Yes, I sought him, but he could not be found. Mark the perfect man, and behold the upright, for the end of that man is peace. But the transgressors shall be destroyed together, the end of the wicked shall be cut off. But the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord. He is their strength in the time of trouble. And the Lord shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. Psalm 38 A Psalm of David To Bring to Remembrance O Lord, rebuke me not in your wrath, neither chasten me in your hot displeasure. For your arrows stick fast in me, and your hand presses me sore. There is no soundness in my flesh because of your anger, neither is there any rest in my bones because of my sin. For mine iniquities are gone over mine head, as in heavy burden, they are too heavy for me. My wounds stink and are corrupt because of my foolishness. I am troubled, I am bowed down greatly, I go mourning all the day long. For my loins are filled with a loathsome disease, and there is no soundness in my flesh. I am feeble and sore broken. I have roared by reason of the disquietness of my heart. Lord, all my desire is before you, and my groaning is not hid from you. My heart pants, my strength fails me. As for the light of mine eyes, it also is gone from me. My lovers and my friends stand aloof from my sore, and my kinsmen stand afar off. They also that seek after my life lay snares for me, and they that seek my hurt speak mischievous things and imagine deceits all the day long. But I, as a deaf man, heard not, and I was as a dumb man that opens not his mouth. Thus I was as a man that hears not, and in whose mouth are no reproofs. For in you, O Lord, do I hope. You will hear, O Lord my God. For I said, Hear me, lest otherwise they should rejoice over me. When my foot slips, they magnify themselves against me. For I am ready to halt, and my sorrow is continually before me. For I will declare mine iniquity, I will be sorry for my sin. But mine enemies are lively, and they are strong, and they that hate me wrongfully are multiplied. They also that render evil for good are mine adversaries, because I follow the thing that is good. Forsake me not, O Lord, O my God, be not far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. Psalm 39 To the chief musician, even to Jedithon, a psalm of David. I said, I will take heed to my ways, that I sin not with my tongue. I will keep my mouth with a bridle, while the wicked is before me. I was dumb with silence, I held my peace even from good, and my sorrow was stirred. My heart was hot within me, while I was musing the fire burned, then spake I with my tongue. Lord, make me to know mine end, and the measure of my days, what it is, that I may know how frail I am. Behold, you have made my days as an hand breath, and mine age is as nothing before you. Verily, every man at his best state is altogether vanity. Sila. 
Surely every man walks in a vain show. Surely they are disquieted in vain. He heaps up riches and knows not who shall gather them. And now, Lord, what wait I for? My hope is in you. Deliver me from all my transgressions. Make me not the reproach of the foolish. I was dumb. I opened not my mouth, because you did it. Remove your stroke away from me. I am consumed by the blow of your hand. When you, with rebukes, do correct man for iniquity, you make his beauty to consume away like a moth. Surely every man is vanity. Sila. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and give ear unto my cry. Hold not your peace at my tears, for I am a stranger with you and a sojourner as all my fathers were. O oh, spare me that I may recover strength before I go hence and be no more. Psalm 40 To the chief musician, a psalm of David. I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. He brought me up also out of an horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock and established my goings. And he has put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto our God. Many shall see it and fear and shall trust in the Lord. Blessed is that man that makes the Lord his trust and respects not the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies. Many, O Lord my God, are your wonderful works which you have done, and your thoughts which are to usward, they cannot be reckoned up in order unto you. If I would declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. Sacrifice and offering you did not desire. Mine ears have you opened. Burnt offering and sin offering have you not required. Then said I, Lo, I come. In the volume of the book it is written of me. I delight to do your will, O oh my God. Yes, your law is within my heart. I have preached righteousness in the great congregation. Lo, I have not refrained my lips, O oh Lord, you know. I have not hid your righteousness within my heart. I have declared your faithfulness and your salvation. I have not concealed your loving kindness and your truth from the great congregation. Withhold not you your tender mercies from me, O Lord. Let your loving kindness and your truth continually preserve me. For innumerable evils have compassed me about. Mine iniquities have taken hold upon me, so that I am not able to look up. They are more than the hairs of mine head, therefore my heart fails me. Be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let them be ashamed and confounded together that seek after my soul to destroy it. Let them be driven backward and put to shame that wish me evil. Let them be desolate for a reward of their shame that say unto me, Aha! Aha! Let all those that seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Let such as love your salvation say continually, The Lord be magnified. But I am poor and needy, yet the Lord thinks upon me. You are my help and my deliverer. Make no tarrying, O oh my God.